Today on the channel, we march through Hellfire and Brimstone with the brand new Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition Kane. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another WWE Mattel Ultimate Edition unboxing and review. And today we got something special, as we got from the Mattel Creations Ringside Collectible Exclusive Attitude Era Ring, we've got the Kane Ultimate. And of course, the Kane Ultimate, you can get at Ringside Collectibles, use discount code KYLE, save 10%. It of course comes with the ring there. An interesting pack, and if you guys want to look deeper into the ring, I will have a separate video on the channel where we do just the ring, but this video is just going to be the Kane unboxing here, separating the two up like we did with the new gen ring uh, last year when it's time anymore. Uh, but we separated those videos out, of course, and we're going to do the same thing here. Here. We're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's take a look at Kane. And of course, like I said, it does come with that Mattel Creations ringside collectible shared exclusive, I guess we'll call it. Attitude Era Ring. I know some people, and we'll talk about it in that ring video, some people are a little upset about that whole pack. And like I said, we'll talk about it in that ring video. But very cool to get another version of Kane. Just a little unfortunate for some completionists out there that you had to buy multiple rings or you had to buy a ring at all when you already had that new gen ring. I understand the frustration there. I had to buy two rings because I got one to keep on box, keep in box, and then I got one right here to open up on the channel. So an expensive day at the office for a lot of us out there. But let's take a look at the packaging here on the Kane. And the first thing you notice here is totally different packaging style here. Now Mattel has said this is just kind of because of the pack-in fitting in the box, things like that, that going forward the Ultimate Editions aren't moving to this packaging. You know, plastic-free packaging with Hasbro has really got the Mattel fans, the wrestling fan base, very worried about the future. And a lot of people's guard went up when they saw this. Wait a minute, plastic-free packaging, what are we doing? Uh, but Mattel says no, it's just because of this. But that being said, I would have gladly spent an extra five bucks, whatever it is, to get this in a traditional Ultimate Edition packaging. Uh, for those that are completionists, Men on Card Ultimate Editions, this looks similar but looks different. It's just not going to fit in with the collection. And I did bring for comparison purposes right here the Kane Ultimate Edition, the first one. So you can definitely see that height difference on the box, the style differences, things like that. A lot of people have a uniform set going this way or a uniform set going this way. Not going to kind of work out as much as uh, we'd like it to, at least in this one. So a little disappointing in that part there. That is a little bit unfortunate. But if you're a loose collector, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. But would have really liked to seen this in that Ultimate Style packaging. So that's one gripe I had right off the bat on this one. But for what it is, you know, it is okay. For me, I'm unboxed in this, so the packaging doesn't matter a whole lot here. We got old Kane on the front looking good. Once again, no plastic on this. Plastic free Ultimate Edition right there. Kane at the top. On the side, Kane on the side looking really dark and mean. Very very dark and menacing when that black got into his costume. I really do like this. And it's cool to get this as an alternate edition here. And this is one of those ones that works with the ring that accompanies him. So I don't have any problems with who they selected for this ring. Here's Kane on the side. And I think a lot of people would be having a meltdown if this was the only Kane Ultimate Edition. If we didn't have that prior one, people would be melting down. Why does it have to be in that ring? Why is it an exclusive? We know how that all goes. Got the tail of the tape, got the blurb, got the glamour shots, all that fun stuff back there. Let's see what it says about our old friend, Kane. Uh, let's see. Height, seven foot on the nose from Parts Unknown. Absolutely beautiful this time of year. I am heading to Parts Unknown on via Dallas. On It's a transfer. It's a little stopover. I got to jump on a different plane in Parts Unknown. Have a heck of a Philly cheesesteak place there. I'm not the biggest Philly cheesesteak guy, but when I do, I go to Parts Unknown. Uh, finisher, Tombstone. Career highlights, WWE Champion, of course. Uh, that's about it on that side. And then we do get the big red machine, Rose from the Ashes, of a burned funeral parlor and stocked his brother Undertaker to the WWE through scarred, though scarred for life from the flames, his burning desire for revenge made him one of the most imposing monsters in history. And I always thought the like subtext there with Kane, of course he eventually lost his mask, all that kind of stuff. He was supposed to be charred, he was supposed to be burned, and I thought it was great that it was psychological. In his head he was burned, in his head he was the monster, in his head he was deformed. It wasn't on the outside, so that was a really cool way to get around that story, but use the psychologicalness, if that's a word, into the Kane character. So I always thought that was a really cool idea. 
Well, let's see what we got here with this cane. What is going on here? How are they doing this? And very interestingly enough, we got plastic inside. So we got just a regular box, nothing in here. See you later. Goodbye. And then we get a traditional bubble here. So a very traditional bubble. Somebody that's really fancy could probably take an old Ultimate Edition, rework this, and try to make this into a Kane Ultimate Edition in the traditional packaging there. But there's old Kane. Not a lot going on with him here as far as an accessory. Uh, there's usually a lot of accessories, different uh, things with the Ultimate Edition figures. Here we get an extra set of hands, we get an extra head, and that is it. I guess you could make the argument that the accessory is the ring. He gets a whole ring with him. He gets the most accessories. You could make that argument, I guess. Let's pop these out, pop the head, pop the hands out, pop old Kane out, see what we're dealing with, see what all the fuss is about. Because let me tell you, there is fuss. See you later. Goodbye. And we're going to start it off like we do all the reviews. We're going to start it off with the hands. Oh, give me a, a round of applause here. We get the open, sprawled out hands. You get the one uh, unmasked hand, and, or unmasked, ungloved hands, and you get the gloved hand here. So you get two hands for Kane. I guess that's on point. And he's got two gripping hands. No fists for Kane. This Kane's keeping it clean. He's not throwing any fists at anybody. So we do get that. Now let's take a look at both these head sculpts here on old Kane. Very interesting. Similar, but different. Uh, this one has his hair back. So the one that comes uh, off to the side, hair is back. You can see both of his ears there. Of course, you got the red and black uh, mask going on. You got kind of the bluish, kind of creepy eyes back behind the mask. A little bit of that nose peeking out, of course. Uh, but that is the big one here. Very Mike Awesome like mullet it almost looks like uh, here. But uh, very interesting. Do you want Kane's ears showing or do you want him covered up? Because that's what we get with the head that comes stock. I think this is the head I'll probably use. I like the hair down over the ears here. That does look really good. Uh, can you peel back the hair? You can peel back the hair a little bit and see some of the ears back there if you really needed to. Besides that, the mask is going to be the same. It is the black and red attack, creepy eyes back there. Not as much of the nose showing as the other one. A little bit of nose there, but not a ton. And then we get down to it. We get down to old Kane, and I do envision this to be uh, practically a repaint from the other Kane. And like I said, we'll bring that out here in a second. But I always love the darkness of the black and red here. I love the predominant black here, just making him seem even that darker, that more menacing, looking really, really good. Uh, no issues on paint on mine. I'm not seeing anything. I got a little bit of a spot on his shoulder there. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, but besides that, everything looks good. He's got really glossy boots. There's a very high gloss on the boots here. Uh, very interesting. Uh, when you take the bottom shoe part, is very glossy, and then it's still glossier, but not as glossy in the boot part. So that is a little interesting note. He does have a belt. It is a little bit movable there. Uh, it's not sculpted in, so it's kind of free flowing there. So he does have a belt. Uh, of course, let's walk through this articulation on Kane. Head's going to be removable. Head side to side, up and down. Good movement, enough movement, I think, for an Ultimate Edition. You do got the butterfly shoulders. You got the arms that go all the way around. Bicep cut, double jointed, pinless elbows. Playing the hits here with Kane today. You got that forearm or wrist gauntlet, whatever you want to call it there on Kane. And then, of course, hands back and forth, side to side, hands removable, of course. Got the big hula hoop up top, so you can do all those hula dances Kane was known for. You got the waist articulation, the big old splits on Kane. He can jump over Paul Bear and The Undertaker if he needs to. You got the uh, thigh cut right there, looking good. Double jointed knees, of course, they are not pinless. They got the pins in them. Boot cut, ankles back and forth, side to side. And then, of course, that McFarlane toe articulation on the end. The biggest gripe I have with Mattel articulation still to this day, I know they want to give us drop down hips. I'm not the biggest drop down hip guy, as you guys know. But I really want better ankle pivot, better ankle movement uh, out of the ankles. Get some better posing out of the feet there, because sometimes we are limited by that, I always do feel. Uh, but not a bad cane. This is a good-looking cane. Is it worth the price point, especially if you don't want the ring? That could be a tough sell for some. I totally understand that there. Uh, but it's definitely an interesting incarnation, and I'm glad it's the second incarnation of Kane in the Ultimate line. Like I said earlier, if this was the first Kane ever in the Ultimate line with that ring, there would be so much blowback by people. I just know how that would go for sure. Uh, but this one does look good for what it is. A little bit light compared to some other Ultimates, but I think it gets the job done at the end of the day. Uh, does he fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%. And what do you know? He fits on a stand, almost like he was made to be on this stand. Uh, but it does look really, really good on there. And I do like this Kane. Of course, we did get another version of Kane. Uh, kind of a first appearance, uh, showing the cape that was uh, in the drawings of the original Kane, things like that. He did wear maybe once or twice. Uh, but we do get this Kane again. It is a repaint, of course, this Kane. It's the same thing, uh, just some different colors going on. 
Uh, a lot of reuse, but that is the name of the game these days. Uh, you gotta get the most out of your molds, as we do know. But very, very cool. I do like this cane better, the regular Ultimate Edition, just because cave season, running fast, running hard, running free, like a young Lando Calrissian. Love Kane with a cape. Wish he would have stuck with the cape gimmick through his whole career. I think it would have been something else if Kane would have stuck with that. But very cool, especially Canaanites out there. Is that what they're called? The Kane fan base? The Canaanites? They're probably really excited to get this other Ultimate Edition. And then I did grab this one, a uh, Mattel Elite version of a uh, very similar but different of this exact same gimmick. So some of you guys might have this older Elite say, you know, I'm fine with my Elite. I don't need the Ultimate Edition. I understand that too. I know how that goes from time to time as well. But a pretty good deal here. I don't know how well this would have sold if it was at retail. That's another thing. There are people clamoring for another alternate version of Kane at retail. I don't know if they necessarily were. So I think this does work. This gets us another version of Kane with a ring to get this out there, get the ring out there, put it as a companion piece. They do go together. It does make sense. We'll see how good the ring is. A lot of us, of course, have that new gen ring. It's a big ring, a big play set. Do we have room for that? We'll have to find that out in a future video, of course. Stay tuned for that. But like this cane, it gets the job done. It's up to you whether or not you're going to support with your wallet. As we always do say, you vote with your wallet. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? Did you pick this up? Did you pass? Did you get two? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. Yes, every single day. And then some and even more content for you, including early access to videos like this over on the Patreon channel. Tons of other bonus videos, and it is truly your best way to support this very YouTube channel. You can also support the channel over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the Ultimate Edition Kane from the Attitude Era ring, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.